Hey. Stop being weird around my ship. I'm gonna keep calling it my ship even though it's an escape pod. Uh... <laughs> the other moon is blocking that moon. Lunar Lunar Eclipse! At least this doesn't blind your eyes. Well... That... Has seen a lot better days. I mean... Just yesterday, it was... You know, only a good bit damaged. Now I don't think it's very salvageable at all. Oh shit! Flying creatures. Eh, good for them. I mean, we saw them at the beginning of the game, but I... <laughs> didn't expect them here. Alright. Well... How do I make the radiation suit? Oh, need this. Alright. Radiation suit. Personal. I need fiber mesh and lead. Damn it, I need more lead. Okay. Well, let me convert some of the stuff that we got before. Whoa! Enameled glass. Cool. I have so many different random things to build. Alright, hold on. Lubricant? Oh, I didn't grab the creep vine because the thing started blowing up. Shoot! <laughs> I thought I was in danger, man. I thought that we would, uh... Maybe get knocked out while underwater or something. But thankfully, we were actually far enough that it didn't hurt. I think this is a perspective trick, right? We're actually a lot further away than it would seem. And the ship is actually a lot bigger than it would seem. Just gonna watch out for that. What's this? Trash can? <laughs> sure, I'll scan it, why not? I wanna see if someone put a joke description. Oh! I can make the trash can! Sure, why not, I guess. I, I like making trash cans. If I can actually use it as a storage bin, I'd be pretty happy. Okay. I need water. Ladderfish! Come here, you! I might as well take this stuff, even though my inventory is getting filled up to the brim with titanium. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Consume? Consume. Haha. Uh -huh. Oxygen. We're fine, lady. Don't you worry. Maybe I should make more storage boxes. If I had lead, I could make a foundation and start just making storage lockers, but I don't have lead! Son of a bitch. Alright, you know what? We're making storage lockers. Or waterproof lockers. We just... <laughs> we're just too filled up with stuff. Titanium for days. Whoops. All right. All right. Now... I can go off and pick up a bunch of stuff. God. We'll probably fill it up within a couple of minutes, but that's fine. Limestone chunk. These unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. Hmm. Yeah, alright. I believe you. Where's my beacon? It seems like once you get into the area of the beacon... Oh, there we go. Maybe it gets a little hard to see. I want to go back into the cave. 
because generally there was a lot of resources around there. Sandstone outcrop. Shuttle bug. What does a shuttle bug have? Assessment necessary waste recycler presence may indicate nearby cave systems. Oh, yeah. I mean. Ah, Jesus! Yes, geysers are in fact a bad place to be. Holy shit. <laughs> Don't get yourself boiled in the water, kids. That's what lobsters do. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure that we didn't actually go into the geyser last time. We just kind of explored around. Still? Keep an eye out. I wish I still had my air pump. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many! There's so many! Ah, I gotta go! This is why you should invest in the emergency flotation device. Please just hurt my health. No, I'm so close. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. The geyser has a lot of stuff for us, including death. All right. I think we're good on lead for the couple of things we need it for. I need creep vine now. That was close. I was hoping to find, uh, you know, the brain colony things down there, but that didn't work out. I definitely need to make an air pump. It's always a good thing, I think, in a game when, uh, you actually have a need for some stuff. There's so many survival games where you'll have, like, like, extra shit that I never use. Like, even, like, the air pump thing currently, I haven't really- I haven't done anything. I don't even know where I put it! <laughs> it's just lost to me right now. Oh, we're gonna make a new one. It's gonna be at the beacon. It's gonna be a lot harder to lose. Here we go. Thirty seconds. Oh, I need three pieces of that? Oh, I was so excited. Alright. I don't even think, because <laughs> the mobile vehicle bay, I'm pretty sure, is used to make much bigger stuff than the sea glide. So I don't even know how many resources I'm going to need for that. Okay. What do we have? What do I need? We need lead. Oh, I actually had a couple pieces of lead here. Whoops. Copper wire, wiring kit, sulfur. Maybe an acid mushroom for battery stuff. Okay, what else do we have here? More lead, fiber mesh. Fiber mesh is good. I'll put away the habitat builder because I don't really need that right now. Put away the beacon as well. I'm glad beacons are tiny. Okay. I should be able to get a couple of things. Lubricant. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Good, good, good. I was ready for that. Uh oh. Mushrooms? <laughs> Tell me I have some mushrooms! I can just get some down here. Yoink. <sighs> All 
Alright, now I can make the sea glide. Converts torque into thrust underwater via propeller. Aha! The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. Yeah, it will. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Five kilometers? I'm never gonna go that far out with only the sea glide. That would be crazy. All right. Well, that changed immediately. Okay. Lead-lined suit providing insulation from radiation. Very good. So now... Now, if I run into any radioactive areas, I'll be a little bit safer. Which is good. Okay. Maybe the grav trap would be good for all those bomb creatures. I could go down there, put down the grav trap, and have them run into it. Hmm. And it might be a reusable item. If it's a reusable item, I'd be re pretty excited about that. Is there anything else that I immediately need? Let's see, equipment. Uh, if I have glass, I can make the high capacity O2 tank. Well, I got glass, hold on. I mean, maybe we'll just make it right here. I need two glass, that's fine. I've got, like, five glass sitting around. Somewhere. Here we go. That's good enough. Okay, now all I have to do is unequip my O2 tank. So I can upgrade it. Ha-ha! I will go from 75 oxygen capacity to 135. Nice. Thanks for two minutes underwater. Land re recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Uh -oh. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Stranded near a cave system and under attack? Okay, I can help you guys with that, but there's still one more piece of equipment I want. Ooh. Absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Uh, yes, that's necessary for me. Hold on. So I want to- I want the compass as well. I didn't know about the rebreather being available. I have fiber mesh somewhere. I might have already used it. Okay, well, I guess I'll go grab some sea vines. Okay... Now I can go much faster! Ha ha ha! Is my inventory filled? Oh, those are just huge, right. <laughs> I got worried when we went into the, down into the geyser that being that far down would lead to just, like, constant heat damage, but it didn't seem like that was the full case. Okay. I think the rebreather will help me out immensely as well. It probably requires power, though. I'm not sure. Okay. And then I wanted the graph trap and the compass so I can navigate myself around a copper wire wiring kit. Copper wire wiring kit. And I need silver for that? I don't know if I have two silver ore for the wiring kit. But I'll look. Oh, look how much the rebreather helps. At least it feels like it. One, two, three. No, okay, maybe it doesn't help as much. Maybe it only really helps for when you go deep, like it says. 
Yeah, okay, looks like I don't have any silver. That's a shame, but I'll be fine. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna convert all the stuff I currently have. I'll make some more lubricants because I know we're gonna eventually need more lubricant for vehicles and things like that. Here's a copper wire that I can make. Oh, I should probably, should probably fill up on food. Oh gosh, what? Another message already? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. <gasps> a trading ship? Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Uh, yes! Absolutely! I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime? Don't just... Uh. Fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. You gotta actually, like, come out and see what's going on before you make the assumption that- Oh, jeez. <laughs> I- we need assistance. It's gonna take them a week to reach here, but they might not even bother. Shoot. <laughs> it's funny because they're like, you're on the outer rims! You- the chances of people coming out and finding your ship are unlikely. Happens pretty quickly, to be honest. Advanced theories. Specimens with symptoms of infection. What? This organism is displaying signs of bacterial infection. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. This bacterium is itself is unlikely. So far, any recorded or is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. Maybe contagion of uh, contagious avoid do not under any circumstances consume the flesh. Uh oh. Wait, which one's the contagious one? Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Drop. This one seems normal. Hey, no, get get back here. You're normal. I want to eat you. Okay, this one is normal. I'm just gonna eat them raw. Fuck it. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, that drastically lowered our H2O though. You know what? I can just do this, right? Oh, I can't just drop them on on inside my ship and let them flop around. That's disappointing. All right, I really don't want to eat. Something that's affected. Okay, that one's gone. Okay. <laughs> that's dangerous. You have to pay attention to that. Alright. If I'm out grabbing food, I need to watch out for any that are slightly green all around. Otherwise, bad things will happen to me. I might just die of a, a very hardcore alien flu. I like how the peepers kind of close their eyes during the nighttime. Okay. I want to head out to Life Pod 17 and see what's going on over there. I just gotta make sure when I head out over there, I'm fully ready. I have full food and water. A compass. I still want the compass. So I can navigate myself. I mean, I have the beacons at least, right? So... I don't really need the compass, per se. Because I just have a big giant icon that will point me back to home all the time. But I'm still mad suspicious about that. 
All right, so I think I should probably eat the food first. Oh, cooked peepers actually give you a little bit of H2O anyways. I didn't know that. I figured they'd take it away, honestly. There. Oh, I need the med kit. Thank you. So. Laser cutter? Whoa. That sounds cool. What do I use that for? Okay. Um. I need equipment. Here we go. Compass, wiring kit, so I have to go down and get some more silver. Or, I can just say fuck it, and head on out. I think we'll do that. Let's make our way over to the, the signal and see what's going on over there. And then we can make our way back. And if bad things happen over there, I can always make a habitat. Alright. I should probably do this underwater. So I can at least get a somewhat of an idea of what I'm finding over there. Do I have a beacon as well? I do. Alright. Stranded near a cave system and under attack. I should also be worried about the fact that they're under attack. But they might just be under attack by a stalker? I can handle a stalker. I got a med kit too, so I can fight it and then heal. Whoa. So they're just really far past this creep vine for us. Jeez. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Dude. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Are you saying I should go into it? Cause, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to find out what happens to everybody else. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. But what happened to the people? Whoa. Hey, Seamoth Fragment. That's the next step, man! We go from the diving, or the sea glider, to the sea moth. Integrating new PDA data. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. I'm sorry, man. I, I came over and I think he just... He died or something. Well, that's a big piece of the ship. Is this a Seamoth thing? Laser cutter fragment. Okay. I think I'm gonna build a habitat over here. Just so I have something underwater that has oxygen for us. Because this is pretty far down. Okay. Base attached air pump. Pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to an attached pipe network. Ooh. Alright. I probably can't have air for a while then, maybe? I have things to learn about my base building. So obviously this isn't going to be like a permanent place. Not exactly, at least. This is just a little home away from home. Alright. Let me get on one of the higher platforms here.
So that way, I have a good view of everything around me. Okay. Now I have to make walls. I thought the foundation would be a little bit better than this, but oh well. Multi-purpose room, hatch, reinforcement. What am I supposed to do? Do I just do this? Can I just make a little tube? It kind of seems like it. Exterior modules. Interior modules. Miscellaneous. Trash can. Permanently deconstruct unwanted materials and safely release their constituent atoms into the atmosphere. Huh. <laughs> Alright, so that's what that's for. Can I make a... A radio? Here we go. Receive and sh receive short range communication. So that way I can receive stuff from out here too. Alright. So I think all we need for now is a base piece, compartment. I'll put an X thing because I think it takes one more titanium but gives us like a four way area, which is good. Now we need a hatch, so that I may enter my ship. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh. Okay, this does not help us out just yet, but I understand. So we're still going to be losing oxygen at a pretty decent rate. All right. Let's just go ahead and connect this. Make a hallway for ourselves. Pretty much out of most of our material because we didn't bring much, but that's fine. Okay. We'll head back to our base. Gather a bunch of the stuff. And then come back. I also gotta see what was possibly transmitted to our radio. This creep biome, vine biome is huge. If I could have a more consistent way to just stay underwater, that'd be great. Oh, there's silver. I need that. Oh, did I scan? I don't think I scanned what I needed to before. That's fine, whatever. I'll find it again. New blueprint acquired. Sea glide! Or in this case, it's just gonna give me titanium. I wonder how I even get power for this stuff. I guess I can make power cells? And that would probably help me out. Ooh. I just realized. I should probably be fast enough to escape these bomberfish now, right? Woohoo! Whoops! What a shame, you can't chase me down as aggressively now. Who needs a gravity trap when I just have speed? Okay, I don't even know if I need all this other stuff from before. Let's see, alright. So I wanted... The air pump, I need the solar panel as well, otherwise I won't have power for it. And we have the resources for it. Titanium, quartz, copper. But I need a fabricator as well. Wall walker, radio. Table coral sample. Okay. I know where some uh, samples are. You know what would really suck? Just just losing power while out here. I gotta make sure to keep an eye out for that. Lest we end up just dying. Oh, inventory full. I will drink this water. Whoops. Hold on. Did I just drop the water? Here it is. <laughs> okay. I was looking down below and I'm like, what the fuck? What did I do? Oh, 
I also gotta free up space by getting rid of this lead line thing. I don't really need the radiation suit until I actually start finding the places that are all... ...messed up with radiation. Like, if we ever find Life Pod 4... ...that'd be nice. Whoa! Oh, it got me! But not as hardcore as it could have. Sup? <laughs> Hold on now. There are things I can do. Fuck the acid mushrooms, they're everywhere. Cave sulfur, however. A little bit hard to get. Uh -oh. Yep! Yeah. Oh, I ran into another one! Ho ho ho! Nice try. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> this is probably a bad place for me to have gone down into. But I got a lot of resources out of it. Especially, especially sulfur. Especially a lot of sulfur. I wonder if flares last forever in the game. They surely can't, right? Surely they have to like run out after three or four days. But if I could light up an entire area underwater with just flares, and it could last like a really long time, that might be a viable strategy. Oh, shoot. Where am I going? <laughs> I went past my light bot. 